What to do if you're legally carrying a handgun and you get pulled over or stopped by the police. Since Nyserpa versus Bruin, a U.S. Supreme Court case originating out of the state of New York, many people have applied for and have received permits to carry in the state of New York and New Jersey and other states as well. In this video today, I'd like to talk about what to do if you get stopped by the police and you're legally carrying a handgun. Before I do, I need you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when we release new videos on these important topics. Let's get into it. For this discussion, we will assume two things. Number one, you are legally allowed to carry. So in the state of New Jersey, you still need a permit to carry a handgun in order to legally carry a loaded handgun on your person. Number two, we will also assume that you're carrying on your person. So you're in your vehicle and the gun is on your person or close to you when you get stopped. The first thing I need to tell you is that some states, depending on where you are, legally by statute require you to disclose or tell the police officer that you're carrying a handgun. So keep that in mind. Wherever you happen to be, you need to check with the laws of your state or jurisdiction and find out if you're required by law. Tip number one, if you live in the state of New Jersey, you are legally required as of December 2022, you're legally required to disclose to the police if you're detained or stopped by the police. Not only disclose and tell them you're carrying a handgun, but also display or provide your permit to carry a handgun. Handgun. So in New Jersey, tip number one, I would say when you hand them your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance, I would hand them your permit to carry a handgun as well. Not only are you providing them with the document, you are also disclosing to them, hey, I'm carrying a handgun, if you are. Tip number two, you can also just tell them, hey, by the way, sir or ma'am, I have a license to carry a handgun or a permit to carry a handgun and I am carrying right now. It's on my right hip or it's in the small of my back or it's some other place in my vehicle. Those are two ways to tell them. The first way you're kind of telling them and you're displaying your permit to carry at the same time. The second way you can just, the conversation, hey, by the way, I have, a, I have a license to carry or I have a permit to carry and I'm, I am carrying. If for some reason you don't tell them and there's interaction and there's discussion and at some point they either ask you or tell you to step out of the vehicle, that is the time to tell them that you are carrying, you are carrying a handgun on your person. So that's how it is in the state of New Jersey. You need to disclose it when you're stopped and you need to show them your permit to carry a handgun. Now, you may live in a state or jurisdiction that legally you are not required to let the police know that you're carrying a firearm. In fact, this was New Jersey prior to the December 2022 law that was signed by Governor Murphy. If you're in a state where you don't have to legally disclose it, that's going to be your call. You're going to have to decide based on the situation whether or not you want to tell them. I can understand an attorney telling you, well, if you're not legally required to disclose it, you may not want to, especially with these anti-gun politicians creating these sensitive places. The police, for example, are you're on foot and maybe they're making general inquiries, random inquiries saying, hey, you carrying a gun, you carrying a gun, you carrying a gun because they know they're in a sensitive place and they don't want people there. And if you say yes and you don't have to, then maybe you jam yourself up. I understand that. What I'm talking about here specifically are car stops where I know the mindset. As a trooper, I know thoughts going through your head when you're on the side of the road, traffic's going by, there's all kinds of unknowns, uncertainties, and it's, it's dangerous. Think of the scenario of you're talking to a police officer at your driver's side window. There may be a partner, maybe an inexperienced rookie on the passenger side who is back. You don't even know they're there. If it's at night, you got the bright lights going. You may not even know there's a second or even third trooper or police officer possibly on the scene. You may not even be aware of it. And if they see what they think is a firearm or what they know is a fire is a firearm, they may wonder, well, why, why isn't the driver speaking up about the firearm? Why hasn't my partner reacted? He's the guy's wearing a gun. And I'm just saying the situation could be escalated and you don't necessarily need that to happen, right? It's gonna be your call. If you live in a state where you're not required to disclose it, 
based on this scenario, based on the situation, it's going to be your call. I lean towards disclosing it because I'm, I'm all about safety and no surprises here. Hey, I'm legally allowed to carry in the interest of full disclosure and I'm not hiding anything. Yes, I have a concealed carry permit or a permit to carry as it's called in New Jersey and I am carrying. It's on my right hip or it's in the small of my back. That's what I would lean towards. But I understand that if you're in a state where you don't have to, you may not want to in certain situations. This video is about safety, your safety, and my recommendations if you're getting stopped by the police on the highway. Feel free to leave comments below if you've ever been stopped by the police while carrying or had any kind of interaction with the police while legally carrying a handgun. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. And as far as sharing, please try to share this with as many people as you can. Maybe you have friends that are either recently got their permits to carry or they're applying, they're going through the process. You know, you may not be thinking about, oh geez, what do I do now? I have my permit to carry. What do I do if I get stopped by the police? And I know from being being a trooper, people react in way many different ways when they're stopped by the police. People are nervous. People don't know what to do. I think these types of videos are important. I think it's important to get the word out there. More people are carrying. I think that's great that responsible gun owners are able to carry and protect themselves and their families in public. But we also have to think about the safety of the person carrying and also the safety of the police officer. We don't want any misunderstandings. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're not subscribed already so you can stay up to date on these permit to carry issues in the state of New Jersey and elsewhere. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.